I don't know why, but for some reason this bag intrigued me quite a lot, although it's not my cup of tea to be quite honest. So on this wall I actually have all of the bags that I have reviewed or review in the next few weeks or past weeks. And to be quite honest, I review a lot of bags. And I love reviewing all of these new bags, but I have to be honest, sometimes they're a little bit boring, sometimes they're just not my cup of tea, sometimes they're cool, but they don't offer that much more special than other bags that I have reviewed. But I don't know what it is about this bag, for some reason this is really exciting to me. Admittedly, when I got the bag, I wasn't yeah, too excited about it because, as I said, some bags are just not my cup of tea, despite them being really good. When I saw the bag the first time, I thought, oh, there's too much going on with it. But when I held it in my hand and the first time I loaded it up, I actually got excited about this bag and was looking forward to use it more, to test it more and yeah, put it through its paces basically. All right, I will now load up the Pioneer Carry Panda Pack and I just want to show you why initially or in the beginning from first impressions, I thought or probably still think why this would have not been my cup of tea, which is, as you can see, there's so much going on. There are one, two, three, four, five compartments overall just on the outside. And to me, in the beginning, this feels overloaded in a way, especially when I always say the more compartments a bag has, the more it kind of forces me to adapt to the packing style of the bag, instead of the bag kind of adapting to my packing style with less compartments. And that is why I thought this is not necessarily my cup of tea. But now that I looked at it a little bit more, I kind of like it and I now know why this bag intrigues me a little bit. I am a huge fan of Casey Neistat and I loved his vlogs back in the day. And he had a Toomey backpack that was a little bit similar to this. And when I saw this, it subconsciously reminded me of that bag. And therefore it, as you can tell from this video or some of the two previous videos, I kind of dabble around with this vlog style videos, as you can see maybe in this video as well, because I got this new camera, the Pocket 3. It doesn't have the same image quality as my bigger cinema camera, but it allows me to film wherever I am. So so I got a little bit excited to vlog a little bit more lately and seeing this bag it subconsciously reminded me of the Casey Neistat vlogs and my videos are nowhere near as cool as his videos but yeah it kind of got me excited to do some more vlogging as you will see in this video and yeah although this is not my cup of tea in terms of styling it excites me it intrigues me as you can see here it has two compartments in the front which are cool for quick access why I don't like this is actually because this all also means pickpockets have also easy access to some of your items so I would never never do not store anything important in this front compartment especially because there is no way to actually lock this compartment same goes with this bottom compartment this is cool to have to organize stuff but yeah I would not be very comfortable to be in a crowded space with important items in these front compartments or at an airport where maybe someone could drop some items in one of these compartments here in the front. You have two side pockets which can be utilized either for a water bottle pocket. These are not that big but you can fit a, I don't know, maybe a can of beer. I don't drink beer so Maybe you could fit that in there, but for me as a motorcycle rider, these pockets could be great to store my motorcycle gloves. You have the laptop slot, and then obviously the main compartment, which opens up clamshell style, and there are two pockets in the lid. And what I really like about this, this fabric is called Mandarin 840 or something. Overall, this thing feels very substantial in terms of build quality and I like that a lot. So all right, let's load it up. Let's take everything out of the bag that I tested 
before this is the rush fast everyday carry backpack check out the review in the info tab somewhere up here above or in the description so let's get everything out of here and put it inside here for the very first time all right so as i said clamshell loading let's take out everything that is in the other bag first my current Power bank, but also charger of choice, Aohi Starship 40,000 milliamp hour, which is a great power bank, which also is multi-purpose. I like this a lot because it's not only a power bank, but if you connect it to a power outlet and a proper power delivery charger and connect your devices to here, once this is full, this overrides the charging of the battery. So kind of protects the battery from deteriorating due to being constantly loaded but then puts the power out to your devices while keeping the battery at 100% and not overloading it and therefore not deteriorating the capacity. So this is a real cool power brick but also charger on the go. I like this a lot. Let's put everything on the side first. Then my favorite tech pouch, the Evergoods Cap 2 liters. Bellroy Carryology pencil case, which is my boo-boo kit, meaning I have band-aids, ibuprofen, now it's allergy season, I got some antihistamines in here as well, a uh, water bottle, a uh, cable for the power brick, my extended EDC in this pouch that I actually got from JB outside. Shout out to him for giving me this pouch. I never know what this pouch is called, but it's a great pouch. Notebook, phone stand for my Fold 5, pencil, tissues because as I said allergy season, some candy for my throat when I talk a lot, my Swiss army knife, that's basically it. So let's start loading it up. I would say for this because I'm going to work tomorrow I think I can just keep my extended EDC in this front pocket. Again I don't want to utilize this if I would be in a crowded space because I fear that people could just open it up and grab it but in this case I think having the extended EDC in there is a great choice because there's a lot of space. Usually I like to utilize these pockets in the lid which in this case are really great because there's a somewhat see-through liner. I could also put it in here, but yeah, for the time being, let's put it in that pouch up there. This bottom pouch, I just want to check if I could fit the Evergoods Cap 2 in here. Mm, nah. If I would kind of force it inside, it could fit, but it's a little bit too wide, so let's keep that in the main compartment should i keep that in here yeah let's put the charger in here together with the cable of course May oh no, no 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 let's do it differently let's put it here in the side yes that's yeah that's a good place for the charger so the power brick fits in there quite well together with the cable oh yeah that's cool now do i have another quick access compartment oh that's a shame here's no other quick access compartment somewhere outside because i love to utilize quick access compartments at the airport to store my phone wallet and keys when i'm going through the tsa check those quick access compartments that i like are usually somewhere hidden up here and not that easily to access when the bag is on your back in this case there is no quick access compartment here on the outside so i th think i will use one of this zippered mesh compartments and use that for my phone holder other small items like my pen swiss army knife those are the items that i would usually put into a quick access compartment that is not available on here unfortunately put tissues in here and wow there's so much space in this bag because on most bags these extra compartments usually take up volume into the main compartment and because you have so many compartments that kind of expand to the outside you get a lot of volume and a lot of options to store in your items so last but not least boo boo kit where put do i put that should i put that to the front yeah let's put it in the front would it fit on the side let's see is this pencil case too long for the side pocket it 
is... It's not. No. Yeah, I can force it inside. But maybe, let's see. Can I put this water bottle? This is a 0.5 liter water bottle. It does fit inside. Let's put it there just to balance out. The power brick is quite heavy. So having a water bottle here balances out the weight. And then let's... I know that I potentially will be riding to work with my motorcycle tomorrow. So let's put the boo, boo kit into the main compartment then. Yeah, let's do that. Tomorrow I will also take my keyboard. Let's put in my keyboard as well. This would be in here like that. Also, I obviously will be editing. So I will put in my headphones, the Sennheiser HD25 in here. By the way, I will link most of the items that I pack inside in the description below those are affiliate links you won't pay more but if you decide to buy with those affiliate links you will support the channel with a small kickback of that sale while not paying anything more if you do so thank you very much for the support and now let's close it up and take a quick look what it will look like on my back I actually wanted to take my motorcycle to work today, but it is raining and I don't mind riding in the rain, especially with rain clothes. However, I have an important meeting and I don't want to be drenched, completely wet from the rain, sitting at an important client meeting. Of course, I can take off the rain clothing, but then all of those drenched, wet clothes lie in the corner somewhere while I'm having an important client meeting. So I'm going to take the car today preparing my own coffee in my isolated coffee mug because yeah i don't like most coffees in most offices to be quite honest okay for the last few days i've been editing this commercial for this deodorant and today it's a meeting with the agency and then tomorrow it's a meeting with the client as i just said i watched a lot of the casey nice that daily vlogs and this bag intrigued me because it reminded me of the bag that casey nice that used in his vlogs at least sometimes that bag was one from to me as far as i can remember and i just wanted to go over why i really enjoyed watching those daily vlogs from Casey Neistat. On one hand, those vlogs were really interesting, which in my humble opinion is very rare. Most of the vlogs are usually very boring and that is what makes Casey Neistat's vlogs so impressive. For me as a filmmaker or rather a freelance film editor and uh, let's say passionate free time filmmaker on YouTube, I am very impressed by how Casey Neistat was able to make the vlogs not only interesting but more importantly was able to tell the story so captivating. What's so difficult for me at least with vlogs is to tell a story during your very mundane life or like in this case if i have an interesting day for instance i'm going to a client meeting now for an editing job that is for a deodorant it's a very interesting editing job and a very interesting office that i go to but i can't film there because the clients are there i signed an nda so i can't show you anything that i'm working on so even if i have a day that might be interesting to you it's difficult for me to film and that is why I find vlogs so intriguing for me as a filmmaker because vlogs in my humble opinion are one of the most difficult way to make a YouTube video because as I said your day usually is very mundane and that is why 8 out of 10 vlogs that I watch are very uninteresting to me at least and Casey Neistat made his vlogs always interesting. They always had a story structure, beginning, middle, end. Not always, but most of the time there's a conflict or a question or whatever, something that interests you. Then there is the middle part where he goes more into details 
and then there is a solution at the end and that makes up for a good film but also in this case a good vlog and that is what makes vlogging for me so difficult if I would just vlog it would be very difficult for me to actually make a cool story about it because I feel my life usually is quite boring or there is a routine that I could tell in one video but then would be boring in the next so this new style that I'm trying out is my way of hopefully making the vlog method the vlog style of a video a little bit more interesting to you so I'm trying to mix my reviews with this new style and one of the tools that actually helped me to do this is this DJI Pocket 3 and this Pocket 3 does help me a lot to yeah film on the go while I'm doing whatever it might be and I can highly recommend this camera it is small while still giving me a somewhat decent image quality and yeah my cinema rig is amazing in terms of image quality but it's just too big to film on the go so this camera the pocket 3 helps me a lot to actually experiment with this kind of vlog style so the job has just finished and i'm about to go home and i was using the pioneer carry panda pack and honestly i was quite surprised how much i was able to fit in here because i actually also got a small little or not small a sweater and i was able to fit it inside with all of my other gear as well so i'm really surprised how much stuff i can fit inside and this is probably due to the fact that all of these outer compartments expand to the outside opposed to expanding into the main compartment and this is actually amazing how much I was able to fit inside. All right, let's talk about the pros and more importantly, the negatives. All right, let's talk about the negatives first. First and foremost, I would say this is an everyday carry backpack that due to its capacity also could be used for one bag travel or weekend trip, for instance. But let's take a look at it from a everyday carry backpack that you use for work first. The most important part of an everyday carry backpack certainly is your laptop and therefore the laptop compartment and the biggest negative that i find with the laptop slot is while it is very well padded and the laptop is protected from the front but also from the back due to its padding it's not suspended so you have some marginal form of padding here at the bottom nevertheless it's not in my humble opinion op <laughs> in my humble opinion not sufficient enough protection so if you have your macbook pro 15 inch for instance in here which has some let's say significant weight to it and you drop the bag to the ground there is a likeliness that the laptop will hit the floor if you drop it too quickly so that is in my humble opinion a huge oversight a laptop compartment needs to be suspended especially with the pricing of most laptops nowadays um, obviously they get cheaper but it is still a lot of money and an investment that you would like to protect so not having a suspended laptop slot is a huge oversight Back in the day where not many bags had suspended laptop slots, what I usually did is I got a tissue pocket, a tissue something bag and put it on the bottom of my laptop compartment. So the laptop, this is a tablet, would stay on that tissue, how you call this, packet? package box and therefore the laptop would be at least a little bit better protected if i would have dropped the bag too fast to the ground while we are here at the back panel as you have seen in the video i also use the bag on my motorcycle as well and when i'm riding a motorcycle most of my motorcycle jackets have this abrasion resistant 
outer fabric that is a little bit slippery and it is intended to be slippery so I like to have a sternum strap when I'm riding my motorcycle. This does not have a sternum strap nor does it have the ability to add the sternum strap. It helps in terms of design obviously when you are in the office usually you don't need a sternum strap and you actually don't want to have a sternum strap here to make the look a little bit more streamlined and toned down. That being said, I feel there should have been the ability at least to add a sternum strap. Next up, staying with the shoulder straps, there is no strap and organizer, which, yeah, if if you would argue, hey, you want to have a sleek, streamlined look, therefore we didn't add the sternum strap, then why did you add strap and organizers to really nail down the streamlined look, at least in the back panel and the shoulder strap department? Something to keep these yeah, strap ends a little bit tidy. Next up, going to the outer pockets. As mentioned before, there is no quick access compartment that I prefer that is a little bit hidden. All of these outer pockets are on one hand amazing because I can put a lot of stuff into them and they do not take away any of the volume inside the main compartment because they extrude or expand to the outside. However, because these are quick access, these are also quick access for pickpockets. And I'm not a pickpocket. I'm not trained in being a pickpocket, but I feel that if you had this bag on your bag in the city or in a subway, in a crowded subway, I would have a very easy time to get anything out of one of these four quick access pockets. Furthermore, while these zippers are amazing, they are not lockable. They have a loop here and pull here, but I do not feel that to be a very sufficient solution because even if you would kind of try to lock it with these two things, there would be a tiny gap here where rain at least could get in if you get in a rainstorm and yeah, I don't know. I would have wished to have double zippers on at least one of these two quick access compartments so I would be able to lock it. On the clamshell opening bag you have two zippers. There it is possible to use a lock for instance to lock that but I do not think for the main compartment it's actually yeah, that needed because if a pickpocket would probably not go for the main compartment but rather for one of these outer quick access compartments. So personally I would not use this bag on a crowded place or I would be very careful not to keep it on my bag while I'm in the subway to be quite honest and especially when I'm traveling at the airport where it's also crowded and pickpocketing can happen I'm not sure if I would feel comfortable with this bag on an airport just because it is so easy to get to one of these pockets so I would have loved to have another quick access pocket on the bag maybe for your passport or something that would be a little bit more secure and yeah as I said it's way too easy to get to one of these zippers because these zippers are actually amazing they feel great they look great they look chunky but also they are very quiet and smooth to operate so as you can see as I am demonstrating this I can quietly and unnoticeable to the person that is carrying the bag, open the zipper and then just pull anything out. Yeah, it's it's a design choice I assume from Pioneer Carry, but I would have loved to have some form of ability to kind of lock these or maybe have a hidden quick access compartment in the back panel or something like that. That being said, those are the only negatives that I was able to find. All right, let's talk about the positives and obviously about the verdict. And by the way, if I sometimes look a little bit down, it is because I'm not used to having a display on the camera. This is the Pocket 3 that I'm recording on and all of my other cameras don't have a display that is facing forward. So I'm still getting used to not to look at the display, but rather into the lens. But now let's talk a little bit about the positives about this bag. As 
mentioned in the negatives but also in the introduction there's a lot going on with all of these external quick access pockets you have four quick access pockets plus the laptop slot in addition to the main compartment usually i say the more compartments bag has the more slots it has the more it will force you to adapt to its packing style that is not necessarily the case with this bag because with slots or compartments it is sometimes the case that for instance in an admin panel of some of the office bags that there is a slot for an apple magic mouse that is a very slim mouse i don't use that mouse i use a logitech mx master which is a thick boy that never fits into any of these kind of slots or my pens for instance i use rubberized pens they never fit pen slots therefore all of these kind of specialized slots never get used by me and are somewhat wasted space and my use case that is not the case with these quick access compartments because on one hand they are very big and therefore adapt to anything that i want to pack inside while not taking away any of the space of the main compartment because they expand to the outside obviously that means this look is a little bit as i mentioned in the introduction a little bit overloaded but for some reason i did not mind it i actually liked the look and that is probably the case because it somewhat reminds me of the Tumi bag that Casey Neistat used in his vlogs and as I mentioned in the vlog segment I kind of like this somewhat vloggy feeling long story short these outer compartments I utilize them a lot for water bottle for my AOE power bank for quick access of like my Bellroy Carryology pencil case my boo boo kit or when I store my motor cycle gloves this pocket is great this is for my extended edc that i need to grab quickly if i want to charge my phone because it has my phone charger in it and all of those items i had on these pockets and therefore i had a lot of space in the main compartment which made it so easy to load stuff inside the clamshell opening is great i do like this fabric a lot this so-called mandarin i think it was 840d cordura or something these beefy ykk zippers they are chunky they are maybe they are a little bit obnoxious because they are so huge with these metal zipper pulls but but they feel amazing overall the look looks are subjective and in the beginning i thought this is not my cup of tea but i do really like the look it is a cool looking bag and it feels very comfortable to carry around and it did feel good on my motorcycle despite it not having a sternum strap it feels amazing the construction is amazing i can see this holding up a lifetime none of the zippers will fail i believe and yeah i like this bag a lot i was able to fit everything inside i was able to get to all of the stuff again it's a negative that you can get to all of these outer pockets fairly easily i will not use this while traveling on an airport and i will always take it off my bag if i would be waiting in a subway if i would walk around i would be very con conscious conscientious conscious yeah conscious i think that's the word conscious about what i put into these pockets because if i would walk around in a crowded space i would never put my wallet in one of these quick access pockets in fear of someone pickpocketing my wallet so be really aware of that so overall i would say this is an amazing everyday carry backpack there are a few flaws not being able to lock these quick access compartment not having a hidden quick access compartment maybe for your passport or wallet that is definitely a flaw the laptop slot not being suspended also a huge flaw unfortunately you can work around that with that tissue package that you can put at the bottom as i mentioned but other than that i really enjoyed using this bag although at first impressions i thought no this wouldn't be my bag this is not my cup of tea this is too much that is going on with this bag but now that i have used it i really like this bag and despite all of the flaws that i mentioned that are 
very valid. As I said, I'm not going to use this when I'm traveling. The laptop slot not being suspended, I will always be careful when I put the bag on the ground. I will never like throw it on the ground or anything. Those are flaws. Despite those flaws, I do believe that this could be in my top five of favorite bags of this year. Obviously, at the time of the recording, this is April. So there's still a lot of bags coming up this year, but at the moment, I really, really like this bag and I can highly recommend this bag actually. And yeah, what do you think about this look? Is it too much? Is it not too much? Did you watch the Casey Neistat vlogs? Did you see his backpack? What did you think about that bag when you saw it in Casey Neistat vlogs? Does this remind you of those bag, of that Tumi bag? That Tumi bag, by the way, if you saw it in the screen captures that I showed is 600 euros. So this is actually a very solid alternative to that bag. So if you always wanted to have the Casey Neistat bag, maybe check out this bag. Oh, by the way, there will be affiliate links in the description below. If use one of those links for any of the items that I mentioned in this video you won't pay more but you will support this channel with a small kickback of that sale and if you do so thank you very much yeah what do you think about this bag let me know in the comment section below and if you have any questions about this bag also let me know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed this video click the like button and please feel free to subscribe to this channel and click the little bell icon so you won't miss the next videos also check out my Instagram second channel and podcast at you know the boat stay safe and healthy everyone and I see you next videos. Thank you very much.